why I'm picking Volk. So this is 100% on the fly, my thought process of why I think Alexander Volkanovsky can defeat Islam Mahachev at UFC 284 in Australia. This is a hype fight. I can't believe it's this close. This fight is coming up soon. It felt like it was ages away forever because this fight was basically confirmed on the night Islam Mahachev beat Oliveira in the big hyped up lightweight title fight. And um, I did pick Charles Oliveira for that fight. So that doesn't really mean I have a history of doubting Mahachev because I always thought he could win that fight. And it went the way, if Islam was going to beat Oliveira, that was the way it was going to happen to me. So I wasn't surprised that Islam beat Oliveira. I wasn't even surprised Islam Mahachev dropped Charles Oliveira in that fight. I think Islam Mahachev is unbelievable. He's a monster. And he might... I could be saying all this and he could just second round, head and arm choke, beat Volk fairly easily. And that's what a lot of people are going to say for this fight. But I'm going to go out on the limb and take a risk and pick Volkanovski. One of the reasons I'm going to pick him is because I believe in Volk. And I know that's not really the best thing to say for a prediction, and it's not the most convincing statement, but I think Alexander Volkanovsky is one of the best mixed martial artists in the world. And I think in Australia, that helps him a lot. I could see Volk really just toughing this fight out and um, outboxing, doing a bit more damage than Mahachev in these rounds. And I think if he wins, I don't think it'll be by knockout. I think it'll be by decision. Um, and that comes down to many things. I think Alexander Volkanovsky has the cardio advantage in this fight. I think Islam Mahachev's cardio is is very good. So I, th- I don't think it'll be a huge advantage like Volk's shown in some of his other fights where he's just, you know, got way more cardio than the other, than the opponent. But I do think his cardio will be better than Islam Mahachev's. And I think he'll want, I think he wants this win more than Islam does. But, I mean, there's real no way to value that. I can't really say that because we don't know what these guys are thinking or how bad they want it. We know that these um, Dagestan, Dagestani fighters, they just don't, they can't lose in their mind. It's just like losing is not, not a thing to them. Losing is not acceptable to them. So, I mean, that's why people are so hyped for this fight because even though Islam Mahachev has a loss, it's almost like he doesn't. These guys are, you know, just machines. I think Islam Hachev reminds a lot of people of Habib Nurmagomedov, which, you know, is very understandable. They're very similar fighters. I think Islam Hachev's a bit more basic on the feet. I think if he's wild in this fight on the feet and, you know, maybe has too much confidence because of the Oliveira knockdown, then he'll be in real trouble in this fight. I think if Islam Hachev, he will. He'll fight slow. I think his game plan will be to take down... Alexander Volkanovsky and control him on the ground and try to look for a submission. He saw Ortega, you know, get to many submission attempts against Volkanovsky. He had a triangle attempt. He had a, a, almost a back take in that fight. So I think Mahachev's looking at the grappling of Volk, saying I can exploit him there. And he's a 145 or so. My my strength will be will be big. I think Volk's strength, you know, from you know his his career as a rugby league player will be big for him. I think him at 155 i think he's gonna look fine i really do i don't think this will be like a, oh like yeah you just can't fight a lightweight i mean maybe it will but i think vocal look prepared and ready for the style of islam and i think he will get taken down multiple times in this fight it's just unrealistic he said it before even in recent interviews he's prepared to get taken down he knows he's going to get dragged into a bit deep waters it's going to be a a tough fight i think this is going to be a grueling fight and it may be a split decision win for volk on damage that's how i'm kind of seeing it right now Again, this is why I'm picking Volk. This is not an attack on Islam or Mahachev. And like, he is unbelievable. And again, as I said, he may just win and control. But this is me just not doubting Volk I, I, and believing in Volk and believing in his skill set. I could almost see this fight, a weird fight that is um, kind of how I'm picturing it how it could turn out and this is like a smaller example because it's not as big of a fight it's not as skilled of a fight but uh go back and watch brad riddell versus magomed mustafaev now magomed mustafaev is not the grappler that islam hachev is but i could this is how i'm seeing if volk's gonna win i could see it being like this just like the crowd on the side of brad riddell the crowd on the side of volkanovsky the magomed mustafaev islam hachev trying to wrestle and it just reminds me of that i could see volk you know getting taken down and pushing up against the cage and the crowd's going wild 
He gets up on the feet. He lands a couple one twos. Mahachev backs up. You know, things like that. I I think Volk can really take advantage in this fight in the striking. And Volk's never shown really like this tentativeness, nervousness that some fighters have shown when they fear a takedown. I don't think Volk's gonna fear the takedown. I think Volk's gonna go after him. And as far as the technical standpoint, Volk does throw some strikes that we've seen catch Islam Mahachev. For example, he throws that switch stance right hand that he used um, against Brian Ortega um, in that fight. In that, in in that's a very effective strike for Volk. Volk can strike from both stances, leg kicks. I don't know about the leg kicks how how effective those will really be against Mahachev. Obviously, we don't know if he's going to throw them that much because the takedown threat is obviously there. He may just catch a kick, and that may be the first takedown Mahachev gets. I could see that. But um, back to that switch stance right hand that we've seen Volk throw. He threw it against Ortega. That's actually the strike that knocked out Islam Mahachev when he fought Adriano Martins. It was a switch stance. First off, that strike is unbelievable that Martins threw. I don't think that strike gets the credit it deserves. Obviously, he's not the most, you know, known name. But that's the man that knocked out Islam Mahachev. That's the man that beat Islam Mahachev. He deserves credit for that. Um, that was an unbelievable strike. And I'm not saying Volk can knock him out with it. I don't think he can. I mean, he can, but I don't think he will. I don't think Volk's even going to knock out Mahachev. I don't think he'll drop him. I think he'll stun him maybe a couple times on the feet. Almost like a Whitaker Vittori type of wobble where he's able to land a couple shots. Not head kicks, but he's able to land a couple one twos down the pipe. Stuns Mahachev a little bit, but Islam's definitely going to be calm in there and that'll help him a lot and that may be how he gets the win if he gets hit with a one two and starts to you know get too confident in the striking he's throwing a lot of front kicks he's throwing a lot of you know he may just get pieced up because alexander volkanovsky is the better striker um from what i've seen in my opinion from from the both of them by by a good margin and islam Mahach is very good on the feet he's very basic on the feet he was out striking tiago moises for a lot of that fight which is impressive moises is very good he's a you know a good lightweight and he's big and he's bigger than volk so but i think alexander volkanovsky has what it takes to beat mahachev i think it's a a scenario kind of fight so it's not the it's not my most confident pick this is to me i'm gonna pick alexander volkanovsky to win but that doesn't necessarily mean i think he's gonna get it done i'm kind of leaning towards islam mahachev about like 60 percent to 40 percent volk but i could see volk winning and i'm picking volk i'm taking the risk um not that it, it means much but i'm gonna pick alexander volkanovsky to win I, I just think i just see the fight going that way but i also see the fight going many other ways but can't will volk tap will volk escape these submissions the squeeze of mahachev is probably going to be you know greater than the squeeze of ortega and ortega had that deep mounted guillotine on volk so i mean if you get islam mahachev if Islam, if Islam Mahachev's in that position, it may be uh, the end for Volk. Maybe he'll tap. But um, even then, like, w- what is Volk fighting for? He's fighting for, you know, greatness, um, which he's already attained. But this is this is the next level of greatness. If he does this, he's in the GOAT conversation. And he already kind of has a, a GOAT case, but I, I don't think he's, you know, there yet. If he beats Islam Mahachev, this is insane. This is the best win of his career, in my opinion. If Volk loses, he's still the featherweight champ. I think Volk's going into this fight like, look, I have nothing to lose. You know, like he has something to lose because he has his legacy that I know he takes extremely serious. But I think that's a good mindset and an effective mindset against Mahachev. If you think about Oliveira, I think Oliveira maybe went into that fight, you know, feeling like he had to get that belt back because it fit the storyline of, you know, Charles Oliveira and everything that he's been through. It's like, all right. This is the last step against Mahachev. You know, maybe, maybe not. I can't speak for him. This is why I'm picking Volk. I see the fight going many ways. I know I'm kind of saying Islam's going to win, but I'm also kind of saying Volk's going to win, so it's weird. But if you're picking Volk, think about the fight like like that. I wouldn't say Volk's going to knock him out. I think that's a small chance. Volk doesn't really throw a lot of knockout shots, in my opinion. He throws more, you know, like just like good clean boxing like pop pop kind of shots like counters he throws he throws little shots to win decision you know little like little outside shots that just like little leg kicks that jabs 
that are effective in you know convincing judges. Volk's really good at winning a decision, and Islam Mahachev is really good at just staying safe and winning a decision or, or submitting you and finishing and controlling on the ground. This is such an interesting fight. I think Islam Mahachev is the finisher in this fight. I think he has the higher chance of you know stopping the ending the fight, but I think if it goes to decision in Australia. I hope there's no robbery scorecard or anything like that. But I think Alexander Volkanovsky is going to win on damage. That's why I'm picking Volk. This is a crazy 50-50 fight in my opinion. It can go either way. Um, and I'm not doubting Islam Mahachev. He's a monster. So I can't wait for this fight. Yeah, thanks for watching.